I have been reunited with my father, but I do not yet know if this bodes well or ill. Our goals are aligned, at least so far as independence is concerned. But he continues to defend Charles Lee, the man who murdered my mother and burned my village. Still, he makes a point about Washington and those who back him. I hear much talk of freedom and equality, but it seems one must be a landed white man to benefit. What if someone like me, or Surrey? What role for us in this new world? Is my father right then? There is so much I must consider and so little time in which to do it. Welcome back. And how was Martinique? Achilles, I... I owe you an apology. It was wrong of me to say the things I did. Your words were harsh, Connor. But there was also truth there. I failed the order, allowed the Templars to take control. But now their hold is weakened. Which makes me believe there's a chance for peace. Imagine what might be accomplished if we were to unite. Why the change of heart? Where is this coming from? You've met your father, haven't you? I do not claim to trust the man or even like him. But I would be remiss to ignore this opportunity. Haytham may listen, but will he understand? And even if he does, will he agree? Even he must admit that we can achieve more together than we do alone. I assume you're off to find him. Yes. I ride for New York to see what might be done. Hey, Connor. You have business in New York on occasion? I only ask because I ordered a package from France and it's long overdue. I've written a postmaster and he's yet to respond. I thought you could inquire in person if you had the chance. I will pass by the next time I am there.
I have come to inquire on a package arriving from France on behalf of Lance O'Donnell. Was picked up and signed for by his apprentice a couple of days back, Patrick O'Hara. Patrick O'Hara is Mr. O'Donnell's former apprentice. Would you happen to know where he is? Sure. He's been hanging around the docks the last few days. Should be around the way. Here. Take these pages and hide them. Don't let that guy get his hands on them. I have your plans. What are they for? You got them! This, Connor, is the design for a chair that folds. Genius! You won't regret this. Oh, 
honor. Great timing. I was just getting underway on something that might be of interest to you. What is that? Those plans you retrieved for me. And believe you me, they were worth all the fuss. A folding chair. I do not follow you. It's a chair that folds, Connor. You can fold it right up and stack them, store them, transport them. I could have a thousand chairs in my back room. It's simple brilliance, and I am going to make a fortune. A folding chair. Hmm. Well, I wish you the best with it. You'll see, Connor. You'll see. to get through us for Connor Connor coming David we need to be ready who is coming redcoats David's to be tried for treason executed more than likely Connor glad you're here I want to show you something I've collected these kegs. I might suggest building an ambush in the event we need it. They'll likely have numbers at least two to one. Here's them coming. David Walston! Turn yourself in and stand before a military tribunal on charges of treason and desertion. I don't want any part of your coming, I'm sure of it. Get ready. Connor, I'm sorry for bringing this violence on the village. We protect our own. The British will not risk losing more soldiers for one deserter. You are free of it now.
Connor, I'm so glad you're here. The plans I bought, they weren't just a folding chair. Oh, no, they had something else with them, something quite astonishing. A flying machine designed by Leonardo da Vinci himself, and I've built it. You can be the first to try it if you like. You'll be able to fly, soar like an eagle. And it works? Da Vinci was one of the greatest minds in human history. As brilliant a man as there has ever been, you can be certain it works. Would you like to try? Yes. Such a device would certainly prove useful.
You see the catch fired, Captain? Anything, Captain? Due north of here. What's that weasel up to? She tanker to win with, Captain. You can be sure he's got something up his sleeve. It's a bloody armada. I knew he was up to something. And he's turned to fight us. We're in it now, Captain. So we fight, Mr. Faulkner. Board the Randolph. Sink the rest. Give me your 
best. I will make you suffer for the damage you've done to the Randolph. Your misplaced sense of justice is pathetic. You should have never set foot outside your little village. Come on, you savage! Give me your best! I will make you suffer for the damage you've done to the Randolph! Your reign over the Colonial Coast has come to an end. <laughs> Is that why you hunted me? Because you thought me an enemy to the cause? <laughs> You're every bit the fool I was told. You brought pain and suffering upon innocent people for nothing but personal gain. Pain? Suffering? I set them free. Weeded out the dissenters and... Empowered the Patriots. So what if I was named Admiral? The Revolution needs one, and I was the best man for the job. The only man. If not for me, the Continental Navy would remain but a handful of rafts. For all your vision, you assassins are blind to the truth. Enough. Wait. Let the Randolph I can't believe you mean to leave the Randolph. She's a mighty vessel, Captain, and one of Biddle. You show him mercy in the face of... I guess that's that, then. A tad overdramatic, if you ask me. Still, a waste of a formidable ship. How's about a cheer for the boys, then, eh? Victory for the Akira! For her glory! Yeah! Hip, hip! Hurrah! Hurrah! Hip, hip! Hurrah! 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 I've been the Wild Rover for many a year, and I've spent all my money on whiskey and beer, and now...
need to know what the Loyalists are planning, if we're to put an end to this. I've tried, but the soldiers themselves are told nothing now, only to await orders from above. Keep digging. Come find me when you have something worth sharing. We're so close to victory. A few more well-placed attacks and we'll be able to put an end to the civil war and be rid of the crown. What do you intend? Well, nothing at the moment, since we're completely in the dark. I thought the Templars had eyes and ears everywhere. Oh, we did until you started cutting them off. Your contact said orders from above. It tells us exactly what we need to do. Track down the Loyalist commanders. Have you considered the proposal? I'm unconvinced. To reinforce them would leave New York exposed. It's hard enough maintaining order with our current numbers. Cut in half, 
Yet if we do not join with them, they risk defeat. And then what? Well, they should have come by sea. Well, they're talking in circles. Well, they're nothing watching as we are. Then what do you propose we do? March in there and demand answers? Well, yes. Ah! Ambush! Connor? Little help here? See if the commander's alive, Connor. We can interrogate them. Bring them back to my quarters at Fort George and see what secrets they might share. <sighs> really? Well, you best get after him then. You go. I will watch the prisoners. No, you do it. Why me? Because I said so. Now go. Move! Wait, wait. I I'll tell you anything you want. Anything. Only don't make We just have some there. questions for you. Cross that threshold, and I'm a dead man. There you are, Connor. I was worried you might have gotten lost. Come along, then. What are the British planning? To march from Philadelphia. That city's finished. New York's the key. They'll double our numbers, push back the rebels. When do they begin? Two days from now. June 18th. I must warn Washington. You see? That wasn't so very difficult now, was it? I I've told you everything. N now let me go. Of course. The other two said the same. It must be true. You killed him. You killed all of them. Why? They'd have warned the Loyalists. You could have held them until the fight was done. What? And waste precious time and money on their care? 
What would be the point? They'd given up everything they knew. I'll meet you at Valley Forge. Come to buy or sell? Monsieur Conner, a pleasure as always. What brings you? I wanted to ask you something. Why is this revolution so important to you? Hmm. Since I decided to embark upon this adventure, through all the lords and merchants and soldiers I've spoken to, you are the first to ask me this. Have you ever been to France? I have not. One day, when all of this is over, I will invite you to Paris to stay with me and my family. She is the most beautiful city in all the world, Connor. Full of art and culture, women and wine. But she is sick on the inside, black and rotting. But here, here is something quite different. On the outside, the colonies are dirty and dangerous, unforgiving and uncivilized. 
but on the inside, they glow. And that is why I am here, to learn. I want to return home, able to touch Francis Blackheart and make it glow once more. should be sharing what we know with Lee, not Washington. You seem to think I favor him, but my enemy is a notion, not a nation. It is wrong to compel obedience, whether to the British crown or the Templar cross. And I hope in time the loyalists will see this too, for they are also victims. You oppose tyranny, injustice. These are just symptoms. Their true cause is human weakness. Why do you think I keep on trying to show you the error of your way? You have said much, yes, but you have shown me nothing. Then we'll have to remedy that, then, won't we? Sir. Hello, Connor. What brings you here? The British have recalled their men in Philadelphia. They march for New York. Very well. I'll move our forces to Monmouth. If we can rout them, we'll have finally turned the tide. And what's this? Private correspondent! Well, of course it is. Would you like to know what it says, Connor? It seems your good friend here has just ordered an attack on your village. Although attack might be putting it mildly. Well, tell him, Commander. We've been receiving reports of Allied natives working with the British. I've asked my men to put a stop to it. By burning their villages and salting the land, by calling for their extermination, according to this letter. Not the first time, either. Tell them what you did 14 years ago. That was another time. The Seven Years' War. And so now you see what happens to this great man when under duress. He makes excuses, displaces blame, does a great many things, in fact, except take responsibility! Enough! Who did what and why must wait. My people come first. Then let's be off. No. You and I are finished. Son. Do you think me so soft that by calling me son, I might change my mind? How long did you sit on this information, or am I to believe you discovered it now? My mother's blood may stain another's hands, but Charles Lee is no less a monster, and all he does, he does by your command. A warning to you both. Choose to follow me or oppose me, and I will kill you.
I should make sure the village is safe. Radun hage dun za shewe next ji oh nu jera wa kanu dun yo hue do ga ti ga o ya rungwe a ye ze ne se ge un ka gi ga o ya rungwe de yo ne gu je charles lee lu wa na tu kwa ya sa go ya to ha we ga no do gu da no do ka ra ni ha di na ho da ga nu we ni ho ne nu wa de sa go di da sta na ji ni ha di a yo ki yo hu da Yeah, yeah, that's very good. Oh, no, there are the days that we go hard. Yeah, go and talk. There's a do hunt on in a gig. Ne, I have got the rio. Oh, no, the ashtaga. Ne, the don't do hunt the kettas. Ne, Don't have them. The wasse done it gone. Now hold on. Quite going with a glory in Charles Lee, but three out of the hundred the hundred only are you care want to. Don't go easy and say you know what is it. A toga tigarungwe. We hold on to the zat ni gora denyo. The answer that ni under the squat ni gora gani. Next the owner gone run it. The one who guard him there. The cat ni oska agi. We next the one who oska and the one who ni has any ask why the new stats he get. The new zat ni gora dihant to. Then what does it want ducks out there? There's some great that soon. That there is some. I'm going to do this on no one's a hey you. Yo, Tena. That is a dance. And she got to head stone. 
Charles Lee, Monmouth, Walsh at the Hajib. I saw an art to Masse, Zina Hold and Patriot, Renadeno Uni. Jurhan Saga, I saw an asset. Oh, Doc Tangi, come on, dear Dio. Runo Dio, oh, the Queen. Ungenungue does some more. Oh, dear, the no startunge. Iwe rea na wandu ta ingwa ya da no stadu ke ona wa sadresa yung jadaro. Oh, na hodo de zat ni gun hale la dun hagedu. Kana dogo rama heyo. Oh, na awo ne. Ya tak kweni kwa ori wio agiru. Ti un kwa hu esela den yo ro di tala ko anti en ko no gwa di ya da na da kwe. Jinu ya de de wa de rio. Dogo ona ya ka hewe ya da yun gwa di hwa yon da se to na ya de wa ye de. Ya. De wesek. I am Junhuza Negaa. Next, Doni Gardiwesh, or Nio G. On you go garden yat there. Anguayat da nosta de. Quade de ya, Taya de Wagani, Daya de Wadani, Dina Honda Dawe. Doga era on dewe, de Negon or Junhunjake. Ya Taya de Watka or Gini Gordi Horda. Daweriane de Wahawi Gini Juguenu. Ya ta undu. Onic the other water harder de. Kakniqari was sego de wakato hunzoni. Teo de hunjo hunro na jage da ya guatara.
position for as long as it takes. If the enemy is allowed to push through, we will lose what precious little ground we have gained. The sacrifices your brothers have made today must not have been in vain. Now go! Bring the fight to our enemy! Make them rule the day they marched upon us! Connor, my friend. You have arrived just in time to bear witness to our glorious victory. Where is Charles Lee? That batar. He shows up in the middle of our preparations and just takes charge. Screams at everyone to advance and then rise away. I am left to pick up the pieces. Where did they come from? Send word that we are falling back! Everyone, to me! Now! Now! I will hold the area while you bring them to safety. I grant you my finest soldiers to serve as your personal guard. There is nothing they will not do to ensure you are victorious. Bonne chance, mon ami. Ammunition, sir, and the enemy advances. Then we need to pull back, rejoin the others, and cover their escape. Come on! Hey, we must pull back! If we remain here, we're dead men.
Check the red coats before they open fire! Come on, we must go! I can deal with this! Well done, my friend. You have saved many lives today. Connor? Charles Lee has betrayed you. He forced retreat in the midst of battle, hoping the lost would take the lives of your men and see you relieved of your command. What? I'm sure he will come and spin a tale saying that he was outnumbered or I was somehow to blame. All lies. I will say it one last time. That man is your enemy, and he will not stop until you are dead or dishonored. Connor's tale rings true. Lee was acting most odd upon the battlefield. I will investigate these allegations at once. The time for that is long past. This must be done properly, else we're no better than those we oppose. Never mind the political ramifications of such an act. Should you choose to spare Lee's life, then I will take it myself. Enjoy your victory, Commander. It will be the last I deliver you. Something's happened, Desmond. Abstergo has your dad. Where? Italy. Same place they were holding you. What are you two waiting for? Let's go. There's more. Hello again, Mr. Miles. I hope this message finds you well, or as well as it can, all things considered. It appears we now each have something the other desires. I propose a trade. Bring me the apple, and I'll return your father to you no worse for the wear. Should you refuse, he will still be returned, albeit much worse for the wear. I assume you'd like to avoid an unpleasant outcome. I always knew it would come to this, just not so soon. I wonder if Abstergo even knows what's about to happen. I mean, has this been a part of their plan all along? Maybe they want the world to end, to see it all burned away. Then they'd have their new world, ripe for the reshaping. We talked about looking for another power source, leaving him there. It's probably what he'd want, for us to finish the mission. But I can't. It's hard enough taking a life, but letting one be taken? Knowing there was something I could do about it? Not a chance. Might be I'm risking my life, risking all our lives to save an asshole. But what else am I supposed to do? That asshole is my dad. Father on the upper level. Same place they kept you. 
There's an elevator bank down the hall. Try not to let them see you. They know I'm here, Rebecca. There's no way they don't. This? This was a bad idea. Hand over your weapons and come with me, sir. I can show myself in, but thanks for the offer. I'd rather this not turn ugly, Mr. Miles. Then let me through. Subdue the subject, please. Where's my father? <laughs> You'll see him soon enough. Now be a good boy and wait for security to fetch you. You're gonna have to climb the rest of the way. Can't be far. Where the hell is he? Your dad can be anywhere. Dude. I'm sorry, but I just don't know where he is. That's okay. I do. Give me the apple. Let's not draw this out. You got nowhere to go, and I've got a gun. Speaking of which, it's the 21st century, and you're still running around with only a tiny knife for protection? <laughs> it's stupid. All right, Desmond. Game's over. Not now. Not now. 
Я ищу счет робота! Нет! Гераут! Да, я узнаю. Not so fast, Mr. Miles. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the one calling the shots. Now give me the apple. You want it? Fine. Here it is. Wait! No! never should have come here. You put everything on the line. For what? So you could rescue your father? Yeah.
I'd get the power source hooked up before heading back into the Animus. But it's your call. Hey, Desmond, didn't Subject 16's... His name was Clay. Sorry, didn't Clay say Washington was a Templar? No. He indicated that Washington came into contact with an Apple of Eden, but beyond that, it's all speculation. Furthermore, judging from the portrait referenced by Clay, the event occurred much later in Washington's life. Perhaps Connor wasn't even involved. It's very hard to know for sure. We'll just have to wait and see what, if anything, happens. Hello. Hey. Do you think killing Vidic set Abstergo back? I doubt it. I'm sure he pioneered the Animus. But they've had the technology for decades now. Plenty of other people can take his place. And Cross? Oh, he was a loose cannon. I doubt anyone's mourning his death. I think these days he was more a symbol than an asset. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't mean to dismiss what you did. But it's going to take a lot more than a couple of deaths to stop the Templars. I regret not asking you to hack into the Abstergo servers while you were there. A couple of well-placed relays and we'd be swimming in information. We have everything we need. Yeah, except the key. We're close. How do you know? I just do. us, for we were flesh, and flesh is frail. Though suits and shields might offer comfort, such adornments would not suffice, not to save us all. So we sought to change what we were. In this manner we might thrive in a world made poisonous. It was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done. Aita. My husband. My love. In the end, it changed him. Ruined him. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive, but his mind became brittle to the touch. He begged me for release. For days. For weeks. For months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But, but there, there wasn't, wasn't one. one. Not, Not for, for him. him. Not, Not for, for us. electrical impulses and the body a vessel to hold these sparks but it is weak in time it decays and crumbles into dust we asked ourselves then 
What if it might be replaced with something stronger, something better? So we forged a new vessel, one that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. But to leave, to leave required something more, something wrong. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered though, were they right to turn away? I've been poking around a bit. Did you know there are machines down here that make, well, mana? Wizard mana or biblical mana? What do you think? Biblical, of course. The Greeks called it ambrosia. The Indians, amrit or soma. Most cultures around the world refer to a divine food, though I'd say its taste is anything but. You ate something that came out of a 75,000 year old machine? And I live to tell the tale. So? What did it taste like? Cardboard. Tasted of cardboard. Hardly the stuff of legends, though. I wonder if the first civilization didn't taste differently than we do. Maybe the flavorizer broke. Flavorizer? You've certainly got away with words, Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> 